Welcome everyone to the worship service and to Father God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Heavenly Father is still looking for those that worship Him in spirit and in truth. That means born again Christian only can able to worship the living God in the name of the living our Lord Jesus Christ. In the knowledge of God, that is the truth, right? Jesus' truth. That's why knowing Jesus Christ personally and born again of the Holy Spirit, then you can worship Father to please Him. Heavenly Father, we are together again in the first day of the week to worship Father, Lord, and to hear your words also. On a timely message, Lord, according to your words, give a spirit and wisdom and revelation and open our understanding so that we may be able to hear your words and also behave ourselves according to your words, timely basis, knowing what to do, knowing where we're going. Thank you, Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, uh, let me read the book of Psalm, chapter 83. Now, this Psalm 83 is being fulfilled for Israel because all the nation's people try to destroy Israel, to cast out them from the land of Palestine, that is the promised land, from Father God, unto Abraham 4,000 years ago. Yeah, let me read, okay? Then, I don't know whether you can uh, understand why these things are happening. Yes, not only you know your good report card, but also you must know what's going on according to the timetable of our Father God. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies Make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken craftily counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and Ishmaelites of Moab and Hagarins, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kison which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. Make their noble like Oreb, and like Zeb, yeah, all their princes as Jeba and as Jemuna. Who said, let us take to ourselves the house of God in possession, O oh my God, Make them like a wheel, 
as a stubble before the wind, as the fire burns the wood, and as the flame cities the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yeah, let them be put to shame and perish. Then man may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the Most High over all the earth. Amen. Okay, main passage of scripture. Related to today's sermon is Book of Joel. Book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1 through 8. Yeah, let me read Book of Joel, chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 through 8. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, and Jerusalem. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot, for an harlot, and sold the gall for wine, that they might do with, with me, or Tyre, and Zidon, and all the coast of Philistine. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return? your recompense unto your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Christians that you might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither you have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. You know, this is kind of a sin in near future. You know, Jesus coming in King of the Kings, the Lord of Lords, to judge the whole nations of people because they scattered his people and part divide his land given to Israel. And today's, you know, title is, as you see, the United Nations decided to part the promised land given unto Israel. And this is the reason why the judgment of all nations, that is called Armageddon War, is coming pretty soon, according to the scriptures. You know, searching the history of the United Nations, okay? On November 29th, 1949, the United Nations General Assembly passed a resolution allowing Israel to establish a state. It's a miracle, according to the, you know, Balfour Declaration. Yes. Since year 70, they haven't scattered all nations, you know, and hated by all nations. Yes, 
prosecuted by all nations. All of a sudden, the United Nations, you know, declare passing a resolution allowing Israel to establish a state in Palestine where a Lord God gave Abraham their ancestor 4,000 years ago. As a result, the following year, May 14, 1948, Israel finally became an independent state miraculously recognized by the United Nations. Yes, it was good. So far, so good. But on November, same day, 29th, this year, year 2016, that means 69 years later, the United Nations divided the Palestine land promised by Israel promised by to Israel by God and decided that both Palestinians and Israel would coexist. That means, you know, Palestine was only one land given to Israel, but they divide into two, you know, to, to have uh, two nations live together. Yeah, it looks very peaceful, right? A sharing land, right? But God, God's eye is not that good. You know, so understand that. You know, the words of God is absolute. Sometimes the words of God, you know, seems to be kind of discriminating Israel from other nations. But God is almighty. He is a potter. And all human beings in a clay. Nobody can complain to potter as a clay, right? But unfortunately, not many people understand their position before God, according to their education. All men are equal kind of things. God is good kind of things. According to the Jewish state calculation method, actually 69 years is 70th year, since it will include the year that begins, you know, including year that begins, that means 69 uh, should be 70. 70 related to, you know, the God. Number seven related to God, God's number. In addition, the United Nations decided not only to leave Israel from Jerusalem occupied after the war on June 6, 1967, is called the Six Day War but also to draw from the Golan Heights owned by Israel. United Nations have decided to enforce this resolution even by using enforced method. The main passage we just read, Book of Joel, chapter 3, is a prophecy spoken through the prophet Joel and is a warning message that God will judge all the nations of this world through the battle of Armageddon in the future. The prophet Joel clearly witnessed when the war of this last judgment will take place. God said he would defend his inheritance, inheritance is Israel, chosen people. He promised God's decision to judge the nations of the world when all nations would scatter all Israel among the people. Already happened, right? And part, divide, the whole area of the land of Palestine from the land of promised given to Israel through Abraham to the river Euphrates on the north and the river, great river, you know, Egypt, on the south. This coming judgment of God is evident by the United Nations resolution to divide the land of Israel and give it to Palestine on 29 November 2016 this year. After this UN resolution, God gave a sign of warning first. There is a huge cloud pillar, pillar of cloud, on the Golan Heights, 
on the side of a city, Syrian border, actually inside of Syria, great donation happens in the side of Syria. Surprise Israeli soldiers took a picture of the site and informed the whole world through the Facebook and Israel Today magazine. As you see it now through video. As to this phenomenon, those who have seen this testify that is divine intervention. According to the book of Joel. A Yafart Romano, a Jewish man, cried out, Thank you, Father. As a tornado st stood on the Syrian border and make a huge pillar of a cloud. Another Jew named Nathanael Tanami testified, seeing that. What more do you to believe? That's right. God can still see the signs and actions of the Jews. Yeah, God can still show the signs and actions of Jews. God has once again prophesied to all the people who are touching the eyes of God through the prophet Zechariah. For I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her, ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north, says the Lord. For I have spread you broad as the four winds of the heaven, says the Lord. Deliver thyself of Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus says the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that touches you, touches in the apple of his eye. That means what? Whosoever touch people of Israel, nation of Israel, the same as touching eyeball of God. If somebody touch your eyeball, what gonna happen? Even though it's so good man and woman. Unconsciously, you know, you're going to hit, right? Yes. Even though God spoke these kind of things, you know, or nations people never mind listening. God once again gave a terrible warning through the prophet Zechariah. This is the warning against the United Nations that made resolution to eliminate Israel from Jerusalem recently. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Yes. Yeah, this, these words will be fulfilled pretty soon. When Jesus spoke to his disciples on Mount Olive, he said clearly when there would be a tribulation, great tribulation, and through the Armageddon, who will judge the nations, the world under Satan's reign will be ended, finally. Jesus, you know, making a parable. He said to his disciples, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put his forth leaves, you know the summer is nigh. So likewise you, when you shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. That's right. The fig tree is a symbol of Israel. 
and the branches are supposed to be flexible in that they will also receive life by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ when the time of fullness of Gentiles ends. In 1948, when Israel was nation, nationally independent, and the fact that the summer is near can be seen as saying about harvest. The summer in Israel is the same as four seasons of harvest in Gentile nation. Also regarding this generation that the Lord has spoken, we can say that in light of recent UN decision to part the land of Israel in 70 years, Moses said, the days of our years is 70 or 80 if we're healthy. We can see that the time of the will of God is near when the United Nations resolved to divide the land of Israel in 70 years. The Lord is telling the Jews, that it is time to say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as is done in heaven. Yes. Almost time. The Holy Ghost has foretold and prophesied long before that all nations will strike Israel at the end of time. Why? To the heathen rage. And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their hands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in the horizon. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Yes. The land of Palestine, promised land given to Israel. Jesus will coming in king of kings, a lot of laws. No two nations, only one kingdom of Christ Jesus. The words of God. The says the Lord God of host. The same Holy Ghost that asks up, one of Levite, praying against the nations that are going to drive Israel out of Jerusalem. We just read the book of Psalm, right? Chapter 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For, lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, just as, you know, you and did, right? And consulted together against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come. And let us cut them, that means Israel, cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are com confederate against thee, the tabernacle of course of Edom, and Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarites, and Gebel, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitations of Tyr, Asu also is joined with them. They have Hopun, the children of Lot, Shelah, do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kishon, which perished and Andor, they became as dung for the earth. It will happen a long time ago. Same thing going to happen. Whosoever against the Lord Jesus and his people. When you see the God is planning time around Israel, you must not forget that the church of God also moves with the timetables for Israel. 
approximately seven years before the judgment of most nations united in United Nations in Armageddon to achieve the new world order came to realize is that rapture in the air must be imminent in order to be prepared as the bride of Christ we must love each other with fervent love and we have to have a life of purity as Jesus Christ is pure by the blood of Jesus Christ and the words in, in the words of God and through the anointment Holy Spirit. I bless all of you. Understand the timely message and behave yourself because the Bible says the lust of flesh, lust of eyes, pride of life pass away. Also the world current world pass by. Only those who do the will of God will live forever. I bless all of you to understand his message. Amen.